This video illustrates how to solve an optimization problem where a new constraint is introduced partway through the process. When you get a problem like this on your exam, it will already be partially solved for you like this one. The x and y are defined and the graph already exists with the constraints graphed, the polygon found and the vertices identified. The first thing you have to do is define the optimization function. If tickets cost $2 per student and $5 per parent, and students are x and parents are y, then the optimization function is 2x plus 5y equals z. The next thing you do is start building your table using the vertices that are already identified in the graph for you. Here's my table. The three vertices, 20, 20, 120, and 2100, are already in there. And I plug all three of those vertices into this optimization function. I get these answers, 540, 140, and 300. If this problem was complete, I would have my answer now. Since we're trying to maximize profits, I pick the largest number, $540 would be the maximum profit, and it would be earned by selling 20 tickets to students and 100 tickets to parents. But the school has decided to introduce a new constraint. The school has decided there should be at least as many students present as there are parents. That changes things. What we have to do next is make an inequality that matches this new constraint. And my inequality is going to be defined down here. My new constraint is x greater than or equal to y. I will not show the table of values because that is explained in other videos on this website. But if I were to graph this new constraint, this is what it would look like on my graph. The new line is this blue line, and it is shaded below and to the right. That changes the shape of my polygon. It creates a new vertex, which I have right here and the new vertex is x equals 60, y equals 60. I'm going to shade a new polygon in a different color so that we can see what the polygon looks like now. 